And uh, this is uh, the topic, organic and inorganic chemistry. What is the meaning of that? Organic compounds and inorganic compounds are the basic of the chemistry. Organic compounds always, always, always contain carbon, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. We are going to check the structure of the polymers. The polymers are chains of uh, monomers bonded together. That's simple. Monomers are single molecules. Single molecules, for example, hydrocarbons, for example, amino acids. Yeah. The process when the monomers are connected together is the name of that process is polymerization. Polymerization is the combination of different monomers in a chain. Another excellent material that we are going to study over there is uh, the TIC. The TIC used uh, on the deck uh, is uh, it's a special wood. I am going to explain in the course of composite materials. I am going to explain the procedure to add the glue uh, in between the TICAS and uh, the procedure to create perfect floors of TICA. Step by step, I am going to explain the procedure to do that process and uh, I am going to invite to our class uh, one expert uh, in the fabrication of TICA for boats uh, in order to understand how important is that process, how, uh, how is the, the procedure to apply the glue, how is the procedure to polish the glue and how is the procedure to cover the varnish, uh, the final cover on the TICA. Uh, we are going to check the difference between metals and alloys. <clears throat> Metal and alloys are materials that are typically hard, they are malleable, they have a good electrical and thermal conductivity. I explained that uh, one of the properties of uh, the metals is that uh, they are excellent conductors of uh, electricity <coughs> and heat. And uh, the alloys, the alloys are basically divided, I explained before, in ferrous alloys and non-ferrous alloys. I love this table because uh, uh, in this table uh, we can analyze uh, properties of metals. For example, iron. Uh, iron is the metal with higher tensile strength. What is the meaning of that? I can apply 200,000 psi before before the metal be broken. 200,000. This is the highest. What is the next one? Uh, before iron, uh, this one, nickel, oh, nickel, high tensile strength. Uh, in this particular case, the ferrous alloys are divided in steels. Steels, they have uh, in between uh, 0 and 1.8% uh, of carbon. The carbon is the element that determines if the ferrous alloy is a uh, cast iron, the cast iron is not good, or is a good steel is the amount of carbon. Don't forget that those numbers. Uh, if the amount of carbon is in between 2% and 5% it's considered cast iron. The amount of carbon determines if the alloy is cast iron or steels.